It's a crazy world out there. And the market's even crazier. And in this economy, you have to take risks. Sometimes you wander around for nothing. And sometimes you make the big bucks. Will the item sit on the shelf? Or will it flip for a profit? Let's see what happens this time on What the Flip. Like any hobby, collecting physical media can be a costly one. So once in a while I have to sell some older things to pay for new ones. And uh, sometimes I go to thrift stores and get lucky, find something I might be able to sell to make up for the other things I bought that week. But they're not always winners, as everything is in this world. So I'm going to go through some things that I've sold in the past and see which ones were solid flips or maybe turned out to be flops in my new series, What the Flip. Item number one, Friday the 13th, 8 Film Collection. There was a short in-between when I had sold my Friday the 13th complete franchise tin set and the Scream Factory version was announced. And in that time, I was all sad that I didn't have a Friday the 13th collection in my collection. So I bought the old Paramount 8 movie pack. I never even got around to opening the damn thing. But I bought it for $18.99. So let's just round up, say $19 for simplicity. And then once I got the Scream Factory set, I didn't need that anymore. So I figured I'd sell it. And I was lucky to make $23 selling it. It's not much, but it was definitely worth the flip. Item number two. Tron Legacy Soundtrack Score. Back when I worked at the old pawn shop, uh, they used to sell CDs for a buck, is what I used to always get them for when I worked there. I didn't buy a lot of them, but one of them I did get was the Outstanding Score for Tron Legacy by Daft Punk. Um, it's an amazing score. I recommend listening to it any way you possibly can. But I had the CD, I listened to it a lot, and I just got to the point where I didn't need it, so I bought it for a buck. And I sold it for $9, which, you know, not a lot. I'd say that was worth the flip. Item number three, 1989 Batmobile Telephone. Um, I have a thing for weird phones. I just think that they're funny. I don't know why. <laughs> so you might see another one later on in a future episode. Uh, but I don't have space for them, really. And I can't use them because I don't have a real phone line. So I figured I'll get rid of the thing. I... Uh, had the box and everything with it. It wasn't brand new when I bought it. Obviously, it was a damn near 30-year-old phone. But it had all the pieces in the box with the original foam and everything. I bought it for 20 bucks, I believe. Uh, which, you know, was probably more than I should have bought it for. Um, but I managed to resell it for $22, surprisingly. Uh, you know, a small profit, but definitely worth the flip. Item number four. Movie Maniacs Alien Queen Diorama. I used to collect the Todd McFarlane Movie Maniac series, as you might have seen in past videos. I still have a lot of them. I sold a lot of them off that were worth selling. I have a handful that just aren't worth enough to bother selling. But this one was a very cool one that I thought I would take the risk on. It was the Queen Alien Diorama set from Aliens. A big figure. It's like that big with like the whole thing put together. Uh... I honestly couldn't tell you what I originally paid for it because it was like 20 years ago. But it was in the ballpark of $40 to $50. So let's just say it was $50. Take the high end. I would have been happy anywhere near that, honestly, to get rid of it. But I was surprisingly lucky and someone bought it for $76. Used and out of the box everything. I didn't keep them in the boxes. I displayed them on my shelves because I was an idiot. <laughs> if I would have kept the boxes for them all... I'd be a millionaire. Not really. Bought it for, say, 50 bucks. Sold it for 76. That, for shizzle, was worth the flip. This episode of What the Flip, Derek had a total cost of $90 and a total sale amount of $130, leaving him with a total profit of $40. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for future episodes of What the Flip. Talk. Shop, pop, movies.